Hello everyone and welcome back to base series. Today's subject is the circle of fifths. You know the circle of fifths is always a mystery amongst us musicians about how it works and what it is good for. I get asked all the time by my students if I should take the time to learn what the circle of fifths is, if there is any practical use for it. The answer is absolutely yes. Don't you think it's better to take, I don't know, 30 minutes of your free time to learn a concept than having to worry about it all the time? In summarization, when you learn what a circle of fifths is, you will understand the key signature concept and tonality concepts better. So here's an excerpt of my music theory course on Udemy. Enjoy. As we already know, the C major scale doesn't have any sharps or flats. If we take that C note as our starting point and give numbers to every fifth degree, we get the number of sharps that major scale will get. Let's start from C. C, D, E, F, G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the G major scale will get only one sharp. Starting from G major, starting from G, G, A, B, C, D. The D major scale will get two sharps, and so on and so forth. After doing that 12 times, because there are 12 notes, we'll get to our starting point and we can form a circle, hence the cycle of fifths. We can also go the opposite side, the counterclockwise, that way we can find the number of flats. Again, starting from C, C, B, A, G, F. The F major scale will get one flat. And we can continue 12 times in that way also. Limit for using the major scales with sharps ends with this seventh one, the C sharp major scale. All the notes in that C sharp major scale gets the sharp sign. We cannot add any more sharps, so the C sharp major scale is the last scale we can use sharps with. But practically, we use it till the F sharp major. Depending on the ensemble you're in, it can also be referred as G flat major also. If you memorize first sharp and first flat note in the cycle of fifths, F sharp for the sharp side and B flat for the F major side, we can also go in fifths and find the other accidental notes. For example, F sharp is the first accidental for the G major scale. If you go up fifth for F sharp, we go F, G, A, B, C, C sharp. C sharp is the second accidental we get, so the D major scale will get F sharp and C sharp for their accidentals. For the flat side, the F major scale get B flat for their accidental. So starting from B flat, B, A, G, F, and E. E flat will be our next accidental. So the B flat major will get B flat and E flat for your accidentals. And of course, we can go six times on the clockwise side, six times on the counterclockwise side, and can form a circle. The key signature of the partition is decided with the sharp and flat signs at the beginning of the notation. For example, if there are three sharps in a notation, A major is the corresponding key on the cycle of fifths, so the tone is A major. We also place those accidentals on the corresponding accidentals on the cycle of fifths. So if the key signature is G major, we place the sharp sign on the F, F sharp. We play those notes with accidentals unless stated otherwise. Also, the natural sign is used for playing those notes without accidentals. 